This morning, the former sheriff's deputy and school resource officer accused of standing back and failing to confront the gunman during the 2018 Parkland, Florida school massacre is preparing for his trial set to begin next week. Mixed emotions. You know, it's tough. I wouldn't want any law enforcement officer in this country to experience this. Scott Peterson faces multiple counts of child neglect for not entering the building where the attack was unfolding. 14 students and three staff members were killed. First order of business before the trial, jury selection, and a key decision by the judge whether to allow jurors to visit the school, which is still preserved as a crime scene. Peterson's lawyer wants jurors to hear what he describes as an echo outside the school, which he says factored into Peterson's decision to take cover during the shooting. The only way to appreciate that is to physically be there. Legal analysts say this is a first of its kind case, applying child neglect charges, viewing a school resource officer as a caregiver. Have a difficult case here. It, it is not an open and shut case. There's a lot open for interpretation. Meanwhile, 1,400 miles away in Texas, tomorrow marks one year since the Uvalde school massacre, where 19 students and two teachers lost their lives. Uvalde's mayor yesterday acknowledged the lingering questions about the delayed law enforcement response that day. We realize you still don't have the answers that you need, and it's frustrating to all of us. For that, I apologize. He says officials are close to finalizing an agreement that would allow the city's investigator to access police records to determine if any officers should be disciplined. And Uvalde's mayor also says plans are moving forward to demolish the crime scene. Rob Elementary, Derek Dennis, ABC News.